Well, it was a nice day for festivals. We saw a few people out there with their festival, you know, jackets on trying to enjoy it. And of course, we have all this weather going on in the lake. Rob, yeah, it's a it's, mess. It is kind of a mess. And believe it or not, it's related to the tropics. We'll start with our weather watchers, show you kind of the dreary day that they've been showing us. A lot of pictures coming in of, well, overcast skies. And this is pretty much what it looks like. The overcast skies have stayed with us. Most of the rain has been farther to the south. Let's take a look at the bigger picture. And this is what's left of Gordon as it finally is beginning to pull away from the Midwest. It's going to take its time and we still have the clouds left with this, but the tropics are becoming active and wanted just to make mention. We're really going to keep our eye farther to the south and east out into the Atlantic where we have tropical storm Florence, but expected to become a major hurricane and make a beeline for my old stomping grounds in the Carolinas. Watch this one closely. Still a good bit of time to watch that one and that five day cone has a lot of error there, so something we'll keep in mind. Uh, temperatures currently into the 60s. Those clouds that we showed you. Well, those have kept the temperatures down all the entire day. The satellite showing those showers farther to the south, but the clouds may stay with us. East or northeast winds, those are coming right off of the lake. That's why the lake shore is having those waves to 7 to 10 feet, and that's likely going to be the case for tomorrow as well. We'll start with temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s, but here's the thing. Once we get into tomorrow, some of you are going to break into some sunshine, and it actually won't be a terrible day when you feel that sunshine. It's going to be a little bit breezy. Notice these winds picking up maybe 20 miles per hour during the afternoon could gust at times up to 30 by the way, and that may entice people to get outside and maybe go to the lake shore. Watch for that because we're still going to have those strong uh, waves all the way through the early part of maybe even Monday morning until things finally begin to calm down. So our forecast looks like this 58 is what we're expecting for tonight. Tomorrow will bring those temperatures back up uh, into near 70 or so, and then it's a slow warming trend after that. Uh, some sunshine is expected the second half of the day. It really depends on where you are though, but look at this each and every day we warm the temperatures up and we even add sunshine into the mix for a good portion of next week. A nice pattern is on the way.